Hey thrift store lovers, I am here with a haul. Um, we have spent the last, uh, well two days over the past three days at a thrift store that's going out of business. Um, it's really sad because it's a thrift store that we've been in the shopping center before but we didn't realize that it was around the back and we would have been shopping there because it was an amazing thrift store and um, it was um, uh, supports, it's called Miles for Autism so the money, some of the money, I don't know if all of it goes, but some of the money goes to autism, which is a great cause to top it off. So they were going out of business, and we bought a bunch of clothes the other day, which I'm not going to show you in this video. I might show you later. Um, it's something new I'm trying, and quite frankly, I don't think I care for it. So forget that. Um, and so then I fell back on my old standby at this time of year, which is Halloween costumes. Oh, my God, yes. Let me flip the camera if I can. Um, can I not film the camera while I'm filming? Well, I'll turn it this way then instead. Um, this bag, there we go. Really crummy angle. I'm trying to do better. This entire bag. <laughs> Sorry, I'm making you all seasick. This entire bag uh, I got for the amazing price of $5. That's right. Um, I also bought a typewriter and a Thomas the Tank Engine... Um, train set, which I don't know what happened to that. My husband didn't bring it in. So right now we're just going to go through the costumes. I have not gone through this bag uh, since I stuffed everything in here, so I'm not exactly sure what's in here. We're going to try to go through a bunch of it and take a look. I love costumes. I love them every time of year, so I'm hoping um, what doesn't go for Halloween I will be able to still just keep and sell throughout the year to people who like costumes. A lot of them are dance costumes. So um, let's just start right in. The first one is, oh, <laughs> yeah, I don't buy a lot of bagged costumes anymore because they tend not to do that well, but check this out. So, um, let's see if I can get the glare off it. So we've got sexy cowgirl costume, um, including cat pistol with the prerequisite orange tip. There is the hat. Now, I'm not sure. Quite honestly, now that I'm looking at it, I don't know if this is the right costume in here because, oh yeah, it is a cowgirl hat. So, cowgirl hat, um, costume, oh gosh, look, it's got a little, she's a little sheriff, she's got a sheriff badge, sheriff badge, and um, yeah. But anyway, it looks like it's all in here. I'm not going to pull it all out because we will be here a month for Sundays, and my iPad won't take that long if I take everything out of here. But there is like a bandolero, and <laughs> there's kind of glass in there. I don't know what all. So, um, a lot of fun stuff. Uh, I don't see the original retail on this was $59. So, yeah. So, get, we'll see what we can do with that one. Um, this I'm going to hold out for a moment. So, then we have a bag. Um, like I said, I pre looked at some things, but I didn't look at everything. So this looks like a dance costume. Very cute. Let me come back a little ways here. So it's got rhinestones all up and down it. Uh, the light in here is kind of weird. It's very heavy. Mm. Needs an airing out, for sure. And, oh, here's the matching skirt. So cute. Oh, God, definitely needs an airing out, though. Woo! That, that, the floor. that needs some help. Um, this, also something that goes together. I'm never going to be able to hold this up high enough for you to see it. So we've got this crazy wizard hat and a beautiful wizard. Oh. I'm going to be fighting this stuff the whole video. A charades wizard coat. And you can see the panel on it. It's really nice. Um, sleeves. So this is kind of a shiny material. This is like a velvety material and it is a full length wizard coat and hat. How cool is that? So, I love that one. I think that would be really exciting. I found another piece that might go underneath this. I'm not sure if I want to put it separate or not. Um, oh, this might be the piece. So 
So this is a medieval tunic. Uh, needs a pair of tights under it, which I don't have, I don't think. Um, I'm not worried about who made it, but again, kind of velvety material. I kind of feel like it almost fits underneath the wizard coat, but maybe not. Oh, this was too cute just to pass up. So technically, the one Christmas thing I bought. Look at this. Is this adorable or what? Little baby Santa suit. It's from First Impressions. Really cute. Uh, it definitely the kind of thing that Christmas babies, somebody's going to want to dress their Christmas babies in. So cute. No Santa hat, but you can get those anywhere. Um, here's another pre-pack. Um, this is a crazy thing. I did not attempt to take it out of the package because, again, I got this. When all is said and done, I probably paid 50 cents, not even, 25 cents a piece for these things. So, yeah, I really want to go back and get the rest of it. And my husband's saying, no, no, no more, no more. So this is a chub suit, which is basically just a giant... Um, amorphous suit, and this one happens to be purple. I imagine uh, requires four, <laughs> requires four A batteries, so it actually blows up. How crazy is this? The thing has to have cost I don't even know. It has to have cost 50 or more dollars. If I get a chance, we'll look that up before we go. Um, okay, next is uh, Oh, so this one says $47 on it, but again, we're not sure if it's in the right container. It is a three, well, a two-piece with accessory, um, hippie pantsuit from California Costume. So here's the top. It's got those fabulous sleeves. Looks like it came right out of... Austin Powers. Oh, that's the back. There's the front. So it's got a nice neckline. That. And then the matching. Ooh, it's all slippery. The matching pants with, again, bell bottom. And what else is in here? Um, a headband. Mm, two scarves. I don't know. So headband or something, two headbands, and they even threw in a peace sign necklace. Um, I also have some hippie glasses. I think I actually have them already on the store. Maybe not, but I could add. So we have a swirl dress uh, in a similar material if you're really into 60s costumes. We'll have two of those up. We'll have the pantsuit and that. Uh, this, I'm going to save that. Okay, this is another one. No idea what this was. But it was all bagged up beautifully, so I thought I'd take a chance. So you and I are seeing it together for the first time. So there's a separate little headband piece in here. That's some kind of scarf material. All right, I'm not going to worry about that. That's maybe it's some kind of a scarf or a patch. Um, maybe it's just fabric. <gasps> Fabric. I just remembered that he had a bunch of fabric at the store I was thinking about buying. No, I didn't. I'm trying to figure out how to open this without... A lot of this stuff is stored in the heat. And it's... Ugh, the material is literally sticking together. So this is a dance costume. Uh, with lots of crazy bangly... Payettes and beads, and there's a long bell bottom pant, and this roll print. Another pretty cool one. So I'm gonna leave that one out of the bag. Again, these all need a good airing out. <laughs> Little bits of purple fabric everywhere now. Um, this is another thing I grabbed before I looked at the condition or anything. And again, considering how much he charged me, it didn't really matter. These are a pair of kind of witch tights, I'm guessing. See the, they have feet, and they are a striped, 
tight. Very cute. Uh, no tag that I can see. Uh, and they're really, they're nice. They're a nice stretchy knit. Very cute. So let me put that underneath. A witch costume. Uh, okay, this. I have two pieces of this, if I can find them. Where is it? Oh, no, don't tell me I didn't get it. Oh, I'm going to be upset if I didn't grab it. Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Well, this is good, but I think I'm missing the other piece of it. Darn, I thought I had it all. So this is a pink poodle skirt. Now, I've actually had a couple poodle skirts recently because I've been buying a lot of dance costumes. What I like about this one is it's got this um, black polka dot tool underneath. So the skirt's got some issues, but again, if you're dancing in it, you're going to be so far away, nobody's going to notice. I had in my hands, I know I had the pink jacket that went with that. And now I can't, I don't see it in here. Gosh, that makes me unhappy. I was sure I grabbed it. I thought this was it, but it's not. This is actually just a great find. This is a pink Power Rangers. Yep. Pink Power Rangers jacket. And I just saw they just put out, uh, just re um, announced the cast for the new Power Rangers movie, which I kind of want to see. And it's, it's um, legit. It's got Power Rangers from Mighty Fine. And it's an XL, clearly not an XL adult, must be considered an XL junior, I'm guessing. Uh, pretty roomy, though. Small adult. Totally do okay in that. That, I love that. That might be my favorite piece that I got. I'm still very unhappy that I didn't get that jacket, because I was sure I got that jacket. Um, I've got a couple of really crazy heavy things in here. This is another favorite find. Look at these. Ruby slippers from Rose Cottage. They are a sorry, I'm trying to pick them up here. I'm getting red glitter all over everything. They're a size three. God, I'm so bad with the camera, aren't I? Size three slip on ruby slippers. These are super. Um, I'm thinking these are going to pay for the um, everything we bought today. Sorry, the, the glitter is making the camera go wild. Um, yes, they're gonna. They should sell for at least uh, seventeen, which is all we've spent today at the store, incredibly. Um, before I show you that one, I only have a couple more. I'll try to get through here. Uh, yeah, I didn't buy that pink jacket. Gosh, I'm mad. Um, this was the, one of the first ones I grabbed um, before I realized there was going to be so much cool stuff. Just a sparkly dress, again, very disco era sparkly dress. I don't know if it's real. Hmm. Stars dance wear. So, dance costume. Um, stretchy, nice, cute. Um, a lot of the costumes I've been buying are dance costumes, which is why I'm hoping they will be fine to sell after. Um, something, bag of gold, something. So got a little, uh, like a tap pant kind of thing. And gold bodysuit. And, oh, cute gold uh, dress. Again, all dancewear pieces. Those actually are three different pieces. They'll make two different costumes. Oh. Wow, I'm going to say it again, though. I am, I am keeping count. I am very uh, mad at myself that I didn't grab that jacket, and I don't understand how I didn't get that jacket. Um, shoot. All right, so this is, um, this is the last costume, and then I have one more thing to show you. This one's insane. So this is a Glamour Costumes. <laughs> Should I wear this one? This is the bra top, and this is a vest. It weighs a ton. Now, I don't have the pants that go with it, but I'm thinking it could just go over black 
pants or a black bodysuit. Um, well, black stretchy pants, I guess. All of these, if you can see them, they're all metal. Well, faux metal. They're not really metal. They're faux metal beads. They all have dimension. And even though they are plastic beads in metallic colors, this thing weighs... I, it's got to weigh five pounds. The back has got sequins. So imagine... If I can kind of do it here. Like, this is how this goes. Is that nuts? Or what? Crazy. Crazy heavy. Ugh. Man, that weighs a ton. So, the last thing I got, um, because I don't have the train set to show you. <laughs> I have sequins everywhere. Um, was this. So, um, up on the shelf, a Christmas tradition, which is not a Christmas tradition in my house. I really don't understand the elf on the shelf, but I know people really like it. Um, it's a cute little bag, and I don't know if what's in the bag came in the bag, but it's very lovely. And again, since I got everything, uh, for five dollars, I figured, why not? So, this is what's in there. It is a soft soft, soft. Like, I can't even believe how soft. Oh, it's so fuzzy. Elf on the Shelf. Christmas. <laughs> I can't hold it up. I know. Like it. There. I'll show it all to you. It is, it is amazingly wonderfully, wonderful feeling. Um, Elf on the Shelf from Northwest. So, I don't know, again, if it came in that bag. Um, I think, I feel like maybe it did. Like, maybe that was the gift. It was a gift item. So, beautiful. Um, and I'm going to turn the camera. I'm, <laughs> you know how good I am at turning the camera. I'm going to turn the camera one more time and show you one other thing I got um, over. Let me see if I can get it there. I'll just carry you over here. So, we got... This, which I'm not doing a good job getting on camera, typewriter, which um, I can link to on my other channel, actually, showing you it working. And, uh, like I said, the Thomas, the tank. Oh, and a frame. Because see all these pictures behind me? We have, I have, a Universal Studios very long poster. Uh, it's like a tram uh, poster that I've had for years. I got for Christmas. We've never been able to find a frame that fits it because it's so long. So um, we found one in this thrift shop, too. We got it for $5. My husband's going to map my picture, and soon I will do a video, and you will see back there, instead of way to the bottom of the seat, which I adore, but it's been up there forever, you will see my Universal Studios poster. So that's it. That's what I got. Everything you see here, plus the frame, plus the Thomas the Tank Engine, plus a bin. Um, we got a bin from them, too, um, all for $17. I think I'm going to make my money back on that. Don't you? So tell me about your great hauls this week. I would love to hear about them. And if you're as addicted to Halloween costumes as I am, tell me that too so I feel better. All right, have a great day. Bye.